exciting video exploring the pathway simulation. Your host for today is Alexander Wanthery. Today we're going to explore Sinkism in the Pathway Universe. I like to thank my subscribers, my fans. This video will cover the aspects of um, the, the area surrounding Sikhism. Now it is open to every other faith and every other background, so feel free. Sikhism is an interesting uh, religion. Not a lot of people know that it's one of the forms of monotheism, which stands for the belief of one Lord or one supreme power or one supreme being. So the, the thing is, I've been very swamped with uh, a lot of Second Life uh, events that I've been attending and uh, I want to update you with uh, putting more content available. However, they're probably going to be about photography for now, so visit us, Pathway Universe, in our social media networks. The thing is, that we at Pathway welcome everyone to sign up and um, I'll post videos every so often however maybe not this much in depth because it takes a lot of my time and resources so the thing is the more members we we receive the more videos likely will come Featuring, fe featuring our members in the virtual universe. The whole premise to these videos since the start of them all was to attract people that are interested in education and uh, bring them about discovering our platform. See, the thing is what makes Pathway unique is that we're able to talk about pretty much everything and anything and a lot of other places in the internet really do not discuss religion as much as we do or spirituality as much as we do or anything of that nature the thing is it seems kinda for a big internet it's kinda like very small in terms of community meaning that anytime we would like to open up with people it's always set in certain norms. It's kind of like a dark place in a tunnel. The more we want to shed light, a lot of people just, you know, we, we're trying to open up different pathways. To, so people of education, people of cultural understandings, we're trying to intertwine them in a mesh uh, fabric of an infrastructure. So the thing is, um, we're just trying to bring people together. And uh, the census was that in the 1990s, um, after the internet uh, bubble burst, there was a dilemma of a lot of businesses uh, going, going away. So a lot of, uh, in the United States and especially in Europe, a lot of places started closing their doors because um, there was a financial crisis with having um, having the idea of um, a, a economy a collapsing. And uh, we want to uh, reiterate that uh, Pathway wants to create new experiences for everybody. And... Uh, we want to um, explore cultures, languages, and stories. I had the wonderful opportunity in Second Life to discuss certain educational topics. However, I haven't yet met anyone yet that discusses about faith and education in that topic structure. However, I have seen um, a synagogue, I have seen a temple, I have seen a shrine, I have seen monasteries, I have seen uh, a mosque, I have seen a lot of those religious and faith 
building buildings. However, a lot of times it seems to be empty. So pathway encourages the fullness of everything. We want to bring open openness. We want to open our borders to all possibilities. We don't exclude any country, even if certain places restrict it. If it's if it's an if it's Freedom of Information Act, everybody has that the equal opportunity for learning, an equal opportunity for education. And the thing is, we want to set apart from all the politics and we want to bring about change in a in the form of educational reform and as I mentioned people like Malala are spokespeople for these changes and then there is a lot of other people that conduct these changes and the thing is you know of the prophets in the past they all brought in righteous change and there's so much to credit from this. However, in the modern day, there has to be more changes. And with your help in joining Pathway as a starter member or as a as a um, exclusive member, you have the ability to create your own voice in our universe and uh, discover humanity with us. We're not just a video game. I want to make that clear. We're a virtual reality, virtual universe that is different than the term virtual world. See, virtual world is a very small and it's actually stereotypical word to use because a virtual world is supposed to represent the representation of a physical world but in 3D. That sounds outdated and it sounds... Um, not approachable. However, a virtual universe is a step above that. Actually, by a large multitude. Because the thing is, we take our virtual place and we bring it to other virtual places. We have an embassy in Texas. We have an embassy in France. And we have embassies all over the metaverse and multiverse. We have an embassy in IMVU. We don't restrict ourselves for certain platforms or certain kind of locations like I've seen others do in the past. Either if they just want to stay with one platform or if they just want to do their thing. We don't comment on other people's uh, or other organizations' uh, perspectives, but Pathway is very unique. And we want to showcase our uniqueness. However, I probably could make a video in IMVU showcasing that, but the thing is, it's uh, kind of small, <laughs> which is fine, but if we have Pathway members in IMVU that are interested, feel free to uh, DM me, uh, direct message me on that, and maybe we could have a chat on IMVU and then discuss that. I've tried to um, create a partnership with uh, Move M O O V E online. So this place is um, a virtual world that started out, I believe, in 1999 or 1998, and it's prim primarily a Windows virtual world. And uh, I have downloaded it and I have um, put a little office there, but. You know, we really don't mind the size of virtual worlds. If they're big or small, we're open to explore all options. We don't really judge on, you know, anything of that nature. We just want to bring an acceptance to everyone. And um, we want to um, open up the, the, the doors for collaboration. Because the thing is, I have been in communities where they really heavily push these boundaries of creating uh, collaborative measures and the thing is I don't see it too often in the open source communities even though I try to uh, collaborate with them it's like it's a very independent project among people with projects so the thing is um, regardless if it's on one platform or the other Pathway serves all communities in the world in the physical world that's one world that we all are a part of. 
However, if there's people in other galaxies or any other celestial bodies, uh, peace be with you. Um, so the thing is, um, I, 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 if this video on the internet goes to other galaxies receptions, um, I wish everyone in humanity, uh, in the universe, Milky Way and others, all the best. Uh, Pathway just wants to create a better uh, existence. And uh, so one that's like, not necessarily utopia, but something that everyone feels that they are part of. And that's something that Pathway is very unique on. We love diversity, but we also love helping one another. Now, you know, everyone may be kind of like um, afraid to, to, to jump into new uh, adventures or new cultural norms. However, uh, we're really open and, uh, for newcomers, friendly, and we want to um, have conversations in the, the virtual universe with Pathway in our own virtual universe, having people coming from all different places. I have collaborated with professors and they've seen Pathway. However, I like to collaborate with students from, you know, the eight continents of the world, from, uh, from Oceania to um, Asia, and uh, go from there. I like to see what people have to say and uh, we're always working on uh, improving our translators so language shouldn't be a barrier to success in education so that's the thing the more we collaborate the more we understand each other the more we are accepting of one another and the more education can improve so right now the only law that has been passed in 2001 was no child left behind lets us change that law and adapt that law to be no adults sideline or no adults left behind because everyone has the right to be the way they are and the way it should always have been having a fair chance in education not necessarily giving out grants this perspective but trying to accommodate others if they have needs to be accommodated and such needs is, you know, a little bit more of explanation of um, terminologies or uh, rhetoric or uh, instructions during a uh, class or having extra time to, you know, go over uh, theories and uh, observations and uh, have uh, peer tutoring more available and, and uh, having having you know open circles within a university grounds or a college grounds the thing is we only work on adult education however um, pathway really encourages that the adult educators professors instructors do communicate with other uh, learning structures rather it be high school or something but we really motivates our individuals in the um, uh, in the community college level so these could be individuals that just graduated high school and they want to go into college but it's not necessary about a college education it could be a person who graduated high school is at the age of a minimum of 18 decides they want to go into a trade school program and they may attend a community college um, event so this is the thing um, to have a instructors talk to them or have a, um, a class so there's a lot of vocational classes for one person in high school that they they then they go into the community college level or they just talk about to a librarian or they talk to somebody in the government or they talk to some organization that's not for profit or for profit and sits down with them this and collaborates say what choices do you want to make right now so I give you an example I talked to an individual from Africa 
he told me that he had worked in a factory and he was um, he was telling me his, um, that he was all bent out to form and it was hard physical labor and in his village in uh, Western Africa that they really did not have a uh, connection for colleges they didn't he told me they did not have any resources for anybody to uh, to talk within their own organization they did not necessarily have a um, you know a uh, HR they didn't have a you know a public relations person they didn't have anything to see how they could move on in their career or build transferable skills to get them out of their factory labor uh, job. So Pathway does not provide legal advice. What Pathway is, it listens to our members that is struggling in the world and we could redirect them by you know, giving suggestions that is not legal binding and to see where they could go. So my observations for this uh, individual that was interested in Pathway, I, uh, I mentioned to them that if there is no resources available in their part of the world, that they could go to their high school. And because he was telling me he graduated from high school, that he could go to the the um, the principal, or they could go to their um, their literacy department and contact one of the instructors there, and then the instructor should give them any kind of information, rather if it's something to go to the military and get gain relative experience there, to have a um, pathway option for them or if they could go and research somewhere in their school library so they could gain knowledge on maybe becoming a welder or they want to become a, um, you know, work in the office, become an accountant. There's always resources in the world. So regardless of where one person lives, there's always hope. The thing is what every Pathway member and everyone needs to know is that hope is on the horizon you can't give up because the moment you say I failed that is all hope loss you want to say I will win I will succeed and I will move ahead because if everyone thinks this way we will enhance humanity people will not hate themselves people will love themselves and they will follow the golden rule in all faiths or all spiritual backgrounds okay so the last word the last sentence I have to say for this video is love thy neighbor as love thyself and everyone that the golden rule is not about religion it's a way of life have a great day signing out Alexander 130 your pathway administrator and hope to see you soon bye bye